Hey guys, welcome to another episode of El Jefe Shop Shop. This week I'm going to give you a quick run around of the yard and I'm also going to build a ladder. Just wanted to show you what the yard looks like because I don't reckon it's ever looked any better. I also got those wheels painted, um, they're for the truck and for dad's trailer. Got my trailer out the way, got the truck out the way, removed a bush, and then coming around here, nothing down the side of the crown, and then just that which I need to sort out. All the stout stuff is in the white box over there. All of this is really tidy, um, there's a bit more stuff here than last time because I have consolidated it all, but I'm keeping that stuff for now. And I'm keeping this diff for now, and then the rest of it can go. Um, this is a scrap pile which will be staying, and one of the four piles of windows is staying as well. But the rest can go. So it's heaps better ready for the new arrivals which are getting delayed. I also need to mow that. So over here we've got the trailer out of the way. The stuff that was here is now behind the shed. We've got this table that I've painted. I made this many years ago, um, it needs more paint, but that is going to be for sale soon. The box is full of stout stuff, I'd show you where that door's a pain in the bum. And then coming into here, have the dodge, and then right up the back is the stout. So today's job with limited welding gas is to make a ladder, so I'd much rather run out of gas making a ladder than I would run out of gas working on that thing. So I've got two bits of tube here which I cut to length yesterday. Um, they've been tripping over them for two months, so I thought I'd probably cut them down. Two little spacers here, which will be going with it. All of these rungs, and then these two uprights. So if you're wondering why I'm making a ladder, I have a mezzanine. And the idea is the ladder's going to bolt in up there at that end, and come down this way. And then when you want to use it, you let it down. And when you don't want to use it, you lift it up and tuck it into the purlins up the top. So that's why I've got two bits of bar, they go inside each other and they like rotate as it does a bit of a hinge up the front there. So I'm going to start mocking this together, I'm going to drill some holes in these uprights and then see how far we can get with what welding wire we've got, welding gas we've got. Alright, so I've got these holes drilled in the end of the uprights here. Um, I did swap hole saws halfway through because the bigger one died. So I'm going to have to die grind this out a little bit. The idea is for this long bar to go through that one. And then also through the other one as the top rung and also the hinge. So I'm going to die grind this out until this fits. And then I'll clean this up and mock it all up on the floor and tack it together. Alright, so I got all the metal cleaned up, got the ladder here uh, just clamped together. I don't want to weld these in just yet, they're just for spacing. Another one up the front here, and then we've got that main uh, pivot top rung in place and centered. So now I'm just going to crack the welder out, weld that in. Uh, I'll probably weld that fully, let the whole thing cool down. Um, and then while I'm doing that, I'll start working on the other half of the hinge that needs to go up there. Alright, so it looks like I got a phone call halfway through that hyperlapse and stopped it, so I didn't even realise. Um, I've drilled the holes out with the hole saw, I ground it all back, drilled all the bolt holes out, and this hole is obviously for the pole to go through the centre. So the idea with these is I'll weld one to the bar, which is just there, and then this one will go on the other side of the purlin. So obviously what I'm going to do is drill a hole through this, put the welded plate on this side with the bar through, and then another plate on the inside, and then two plates, one on this side and one on the other side of the purlin, and then bolt those to the purlin, give it a bit more strength, and then obviously the bar will be welded. So if you want to undo the bar, you undo these four bolts here, slide that whole pole out, and then the ladder drops free. 
So I'm just going to cut these into the four pieces that they need to be. Weld one to the bar and then paint all that stuff. Then the ladder is probably cool by now. Um, I need to flip that over and weld the other side of that top rung. All right, so I've got the plates cut, cleaned up. They've been deburred and all that sort of stuff. Got this one welded to the pole. Um, I did grind back all the um, coating. So that's pretty good. It's reasonably square. Um, it shouldn't matter too much. We shall see, I guess. So the plan is to drill a hole through the purlin, slide on one of these plates, and then bolt through the purlin through both of these plates, bolt these two together. And then at the other end, um, it'll just be two floating plates. So one on the inside of the purlin, the purlin here, and then another one on this side, bolted together. So basically, before you do this, do that obviously, and then slide the whole lot in through both purlins and then bolt this one together. And that should give you your strength because I'm not super thin, but I'm not going to rip through that. So I'm just going to give these a coat of paint and weld that fully and then we'll see where we go from there. All right, so painted stuff, welded and painted, more painted stuff, looking good. So I did actually expect to be out of welding gas by now, but I'm not. So I'm going to do something that doesn't require welding. I'm going to bolt this into place, which means drilling holes in the um, purlins. And then I want to get the bottom uh, rung step welded in, because obviously that's going to be on a weird angle. Because um, we're going to go from here to the floor and then bolt it in accordingly. All of this has to move. So I'm going to move all of this, drill two holes up there, then drill eight more holes up there, bolt everything in and then get the bottom step lined up with the floor, tack that in, probably take it all down and then weld all the other steps in. Let's do that. All right, so I cleared the pile out, I jumped up on the ladder and I have marked out the hole I needed to drill. So that middle one is the one I need to drill and then the four outside should be the outsides of the plate. So I'm going to jump up there with a hole saw and drill this one and drill that one over there. Alright, so I've got those holes drilled out and got a bit of paint on there just so they don't rust through. And now I need to get the two plates and probably going to bolt them on that side I think. And then feed in the other one from this side. But then I'm going to try and get the ladder up there, hold everything. I've got some little spaces to go in there as well. Um, hold it all and feed it all through, so it could be quite entertaining. Alright, so I don't know how much you can see in the hyperlapse, but slight mess up. The pole that goes through both of these purlins and through the ladder is slightly too long to actually get through. You can get it in there, but you can't get it in on an angle that works with the ladder. Um, so I might have to cut the ends of the ladder off, which is like a little, um, I left probably 20 mil on either end. If I cut that off, I could probably get it in. It's just all a bit awkward, and I was trying to make it so the ladder didn't have any um, like side fumbling. So have to have a bit of a think and see how we can do it. All right, so just cut the spacer off of this end here. Still got all the welds, so it's not an issue in that respect, but I didn't really want to do that. And then I'll cut another 10 mil off the bar that goes across. Hopefully that's enough, we can just sneak it in. All right, we have a ladder. There's one crucial element missing, but we have a ladder. So I ended up cutting 20 mil off of this main bar on the outside and 10 mil off the bar that went through because um, I did leave it a bit long anyway. It is just the right length at the moment. Um, good thing I have some nice thick plates there. But now we've got a little bit of play side to side. About 10 mil or so. But there was no way I was getting that together without doing that. So just kind of have to roll with that one. Um, I do have the spaces in there so it can't get bound up on the purlins and it is going to be sweet. Just got to put some rungs on this ladder. So I was planning on doing some other stuff today. It's currently 20 past 3. I've been out here since 10 o'clock. 
Um, so this has taken a lot of time and a lot of effort and I've made four plates and a small bit of ladder. So a bit painful, um, taking a long time. Gonna jump into the rungs now. So I'm just gonna do the bottom one um, and then see if I wanna do the rest of them with the ladder in place or if I wanna take the whole ladder down again and do them all on the ground. We'll see how much of an angle it's on and go from there. Got the welder ready. Got all of the lines marked, which you can't even see on the camera. Um, after much more brain power than I'd like to admit, I got them all in place. So now I'm just going to start and just tack them all. And then start at the bottom and weld them, I guess, until I run out of gas. Let's see how we go. All right, let's see if it works. I'm not tall enough. <laughs> All right, so I finished this ladder up yesterday. Had work today, first day back after isolation. Um, got the welds reasonably done. Um, just the top is done at the moment. I need to pull them all down, pull the ladder down, flip it over and do all the other side but I probably need more gas because I used about three quarters of what I had left doing this. So I'm probably gonna run out. So I reckon I'll do the front of each of the steps um, and then run out of gas. And then later on when I fill it up, I'll pull the ladder down and do that, which we all know I definitely won't do. So that's it for now. Um, the later plan is to add a pulley system of some description to lift this into the roof. So some form of like cable or rope from either a step or the bottom, lift it up into the rail, come along here and then onto this pole over here. So the original plan was a pulley and a rope that you physically pull down and clip on. Uh, and now the plan is possibly to have a little like winch system, like a little um, ratcheting mechanism, but we'll see how we go. But for now, it's out the way and I can lift it up and just put a piece of uh, flat bar or something underneath it and hook it up out of the way. So I'll do what I can and finish it off later. So if you've made it this far, you've watched 10 minutes of me building a ladder. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next week.